Hi there, so um, I've got a racket to uh, put a fresh grommet and bumper strip on. Uh, this racket is a Carbflex 125 X-Speed, so uh, the previous model to the current air shaft. And I've actually run out of the grommet strips for the X-Speed, which also fit the air shaft as well, so the same thing. Um, just stumbled across a bumper strip for um, one of the original uh, well, say the original, the one before the 125S, so the Baseltex ones. Um, so that would have been what's currently the Heritage, so the black and yellow uh, model. And I've just kind of done a little bit of a recce just to line up the grommets, and it looks like they most likely fit. So I thought I'd take an opportunity to show you, first of all, how to fit a bumper strip. But secondly, um, to see whether or not this actually works in this racket or not, because it'll be a little useful tip if not, because if it if it, if the heritage bumper strip fits an X speed and um, an air shaft, then you've basically got the majority of the carbon flex range covered, uh, minus the uh, the 125s, 130s, etc., which require a kind of two piece bumper strip with the um, layer that goes over the top as well. So let's um, just give this a go, see if my camera actually allows me to access. So first of all, um, I use a fine awl, positioning the holes, starting at the centre. So some people start at the sides, but if you start at the centre, it makes life an awful lot easier. So I'm just going to use the awl just to put it through here, and it just teases things in. So it's actually really important to line up the grommets so it's going in well so far actually so to line up the next grommet to it because that will stop from going through the hole and also what you don't want to do is jar any of the grommets either because if you make the edges gnarled then they won't go through so i'm actually being very gentle not trying to push if you meet too much resistance chances are you haven't got things lined up properly so as you can see there, I'm, I'm kind of going one ahead on some of them. So, so far it's actually going pretty well. Right, okay, so that's one side done. So as we can see, all of the grommets, all the pips are in nicely, all looking fine on the top. so far appreciate it's probably a bit hard to see but it's not a long video if this works this could be a nice little time saver here because technofiber rackets are amazing but because they last so long they last a lot longer than a lot of rackets so along with the strings the bumpers tend to go fairly early on them because the rackets often live on a bit longer so if you can just sort of stock up as a stringer or as a player if you can just stock up with one type of bumper it'll probably help you a fair bit certainly easier for a stringer as well not to have to order loads of different sets and the side strips again a little bit different maybe on, on these ones to others so for example, on the X-Speed, you get the um, the little pointy bit at the bottom. But the majority of the time, it's the bumpers that go rather than the side strips. So, as you can see, that all seems to fit absolutely perfectly. All the grommets are lined up. All good. Nice and flush on the top as well. And the other added bonus as well with this bumper strip is it's a little bit thicker than the one you get on the X-Speeds normally. So the one you get on the X speeds in the air shafts. Let's see if I can find the one which I took off. They have the gaps in them. So you can see they've got the kind of gaps in there, which means that, uh, and they are generally are a bit thinner. So you can see this one's been well and truly cooked. So there you go, top tip.